Hello, how are you? I am so well, and welcome back to Trace Curl's YouTube channel. I know it's been ages since I've put up a song. Apologies and all of that. I've still been writing, just haven't been putting them up. But anyway, are you all keeping very well? Good, that's fantastic. So I don't think I've anything new to show you. No, I don't, I don't. So let's just jump or limp straight into this week's song. So, uh, inspiration for this song, uh, there is a principle in comedy, um, a formula, if you will, and it's basically pain plus time equals comedy. Where are you going with this now, Trez? Well, let me tell you. So sometimes in life, <coughs> things happen to us, right? And at the time, they're not funny. Not funny at all. And if some arsehole goes, oh, 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 you want to split them, really, you do. But with a bit of time, and hopefully if things remedy themselves or are remedied, you can find the humour in the situation. Hence this week's song. So uh, this song is for any um, potential mammies out there. You know, if you're getting ready to sow your wild ovaries and you think to yourself, yeah, it's time. I want to be a mammy. And you can do all, you can read all the books. You can do all the classes and everything. Um, but there are things that you will only find out about having children after you've had children. So this song is, um, I was going to say loosely, yeah, <laughs> loosely in the operative word. Uh, I suppose it's based on my own experience of having children. Thank you very much. Well, there's things they don't tell you for having kids. So maybe listen up before your life hits the skids. You might think there's nothing finer, but they'll decimate your vagina. Not to mention you lose sensation in your nips. Well, it took some effort to get her out of me. Turn my birth canal into an estuary. And though I love to be her mammy, that child drop kicked her way out my fanny and tore a hole. Well, not long after I brought her home from the hospital, I had to answer Mother Nature's call. Instead of shitting out my anus, something happened that was quite heinous. It was the first time I'd had a shite that was vaginal. Well, I was shitting out my vagina all day long. Trust me, those ones are quite hard to hold on. I was filled with dread and fear when I developed diarrhea. Cause if I farted, it was bound to go quite wrong. So I hightailed it back into surgery. Said, Doc, you've got to stitch my shredded poo nanny. Do what you got to do. I trust you. And he stitched my rectal vaginal fistula. I think I deserve an award for that fucking rhyme. And stopped poo coming out my poor pussy. So now I don't shit out my vagina all day long. I just shit like normal folks right out my bone. We're still working on those nips. Just glad we sorted out those shits. I'm glad I don't shit out my vagina all day long. Well, I'm glad I don't shit out my vagina all day long. Woo. So there you go. So there you go. Uh, Probably too much information. If you don't know what a rectal vaginal fistula is, Google it. But I'll take my advice, do not Google it while you're eating. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful summer. Summer's here. It's too bleeding now. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe it now, air, where me rectal vaginal fistula was. And remind us, oh, right there. And I want to say once again to you, you are loved, so you are. You are loved. Okay. And by the way, check out the new eyeshadow. Is it me? Is it? Don't know if you can see it. But anyway, I thought I'd go for something different. Okay. Bye. Still here. Ah.